Today, we will be reading through all of Psalm 119 together. Now, don't worry, we're not actually going to do that, but let me give you some information about this great psalm. For those of you who aren't familiar, Psalm 119 is an acrostic in the original Hebrew where the 22 stanzas correspond to the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, from Aleph all the way to Tav, and each verse in a stanza begins with that letter of the Hebrew alphabet. What's the subject matter of this psalm? Well, with the exception of one or two verses, every verse is dedicated to the power and sufficiency of God's word. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Hebrew children, as they would learn the Hebrew alphabet, were required to learn this acrostic psalm, which taught them not only language, but also their dependency on the word of God. We might be familiar with singing our ABCs to help us learn our alphabet, but they would learn this whole psalm. The very core for their understanding of language was intertwined with their memorizing their need for the Word of God. I think that's pretty incredible. Imagine with me for one moment if in English, when asked how to spell a word, instead of saying, I as in igloo, you would start by saying, I, as in, I will lift up my hands towards your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Psalm 119, 48. I realize we lose that element of an acrostic when we translate this psalm to English. But what if the undergirding for everything we knew was tied to our dependence on the Word of God? How different would our lives be? Psalm 119 is a great reminder of all the ways we can benefit from the Word of God. Let me leave you today with a portion of one of these stanzas to meditate on starting in verse 9. How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I will seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes.